Hey guys, welcome back to another Warzone video. Hope you are having a good day. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my matches. This will be different from my normal tips and tricks videos. Don't worry, those will still be coming out business as usual. This is probably a series I do on the side where I just break down one of my games, share my thoughts, explain what I did well, what I could have done better, and share some tips as well just to help everyone out. Disclaimer, I am no professional Call of Duty player, so don't expect a 50 bomb or anything like that. This is just some breakdowns and some tips and tricks. Without further ado though, let's continue with the video. Right here, I think this guy made a mistake. As a squad, we normally take the roof here, which is quite a hot spot in this area. And as you can see, it's a 3v1 scenario and his teammates are not nearby. So I know there's a guy in the house right in front of me. It's always a good idea to be patient. Try to get some shots in or get a pick before pushing the building. So I got a couple shots in, I didn't get the kill. So at this point, I try to clear the building and we go in circles a little bit. You know, I think I made the mistake here thinking that I was safe behind this fence, but the enemy was able to climb over quite easily. I think what I should have done is just hid in the bushes and wait for my team to come by. But yeah, that's kind of a 50-50 chance right there. I have armor, bro. Another tip, you want to make sure you are always starting your slide cancels or bunny hops in cover. Notice here how I start my slide cancel behind cover and end up around this corner. I don't want the initial animation to be in front of the enemy. I want to be in motion when the enemy can see me or when I can see the enemy. A lot of people tend to slide cancel and bunny hop while in front of the enemy which can be quite dangerous. And to be honest, yes you have to do that when you're caught by surprise. But when possible, try to use movement within cover. Use your environment to your advantage to take out the enemy team. So right now we spot this helicopter and we're going to push this team. A general rule is you want to push teams as fast as possible early game. You want to push teams when they don't have loadouts or they're trying to buy someone back from the gulag. When you're exiting vehicles, the number one rule is try to exit the vehicle when there is cover nearby. I see a lot of people get out of vehicles out in the open, it's no good. Behind me? Shooting behind me? Oh shit! Okay, couple things I did wrong here. Let's run it back. My teammate did call out. She heard shots on this side of the map. I should have jumped on the left side of the building to break line of sight from the right side. Another thing is I should have been strafing while I'm shooting to make it way harder for headshots from snipers. Oh shit, go down. Another thing I probably could have done is I could have dropped down to the ground level just to get out of the sniper's line of sight. However, my teammates being awesome, they end up buying me back and we continue with the game. Close. 
So at this point of the fight, my teammates have been downed. I'm not sure if this is the right decision, but I decide to push in to see if I can save my teammates. I managed to get a double kill, pretty lucky. However, let's run it back. When I bump into the two targets right in front of me, the first thing I'm thinking is I cannot be standing still. I proceed to do a jump shot. However, I kind of miss my shots towards the end of the jump. So I strafe to the right to counter that. Then I strafe back to the left to keep the theme going of not staying still. I managed to get the double kill and I'm pretty lucky to be honest, but key note there is make sure you add movement to your gunfights. So I see the target self-resing, so I take this guy out. I leave the other guy to cause some urgency for his teammate. Looking back, I should have shot him once or twice to lower his health. At this point, my teammate gives me some info and tells me that he's nearby. It sounds like he's here. Yep, yeah, he's on me. Nice, bro. We have enough. Nice. Eight kills, bro. Nice. I love this morning, love this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get my shit. So, do you guys spot anything? Well, there's actually a rose skin in this window. I don't know how I saw this guy. These rose skins are getting super hard to spot these days. I'm pretty out position here, so I just rely on my movement and gun mechanics at this point. It's always better to rely on good positioning and good flanks, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Notice here, I managed to get a nice jump spot just to get to the second floor. Not sure what I was doing here, I should have slide cancelled around the corner, but yeah, somehow it worked out. <laughs> Notice in these engagements, I try to strafe towards cover while shooting. It's super important to strafe towards cover or strafe into a head glitch to increase your chances of staying alive and getting that kill. So right here, we see a loadout in front of us, so we decide to push. I climb up these silos to see if I can get a better view. I know there's a drone nearby, and I notice that this spot is way too risky. I'm just thinking in my head, I'm just open to too many angles at this point. I need to get out of here and get to a safer position. I proceed to a safer position in the building. So at this spot here, I've got pretty good coverage of the area and I'm pretty safe. Oh, it's really about risk versus reward guys. Positioning is everything. At this point, I'm super tempted to go across to finish my kill or push the enemy where my teammates are. Right. However, I notice an enemy on the roof, which forces me to kind of retreat. Because you destroyed that recon drone, he looked over. <laughs> So I managed to go around and climb up to get the guy on the roof. And to be honest, he had really good positioning, but I think he stayed up there way too long. It's good to change positions to keep the enemy guessing. So right now I'm just chilling out because I can hear the enemy coming up the stairs. It's super important to stop moving once in a while and try picking up the target using audio cues. I kind of potato these shots but managed to get the kill. At this point, I'm just trying to run away just to reset. So at this point, it's going to be a 1v1 scenario. These guys are pretty sweaty. Like, I can just tell from their positioning, coordination and movement that they are no bots. I'm a bit nervous at this point, but it's the last guy. So let's see how the gunfight goes. Oh, man. oh my god! 
get them out of the game! <laughs> oh my god. I'm so proud of you, bro. Oh, I'm, my... I'm just so proud of you, man. Oh, no. Get the sweats out of the game. We have to win this game. Hey, bro, lose their money, lose their money. No, no, no. Oh, there's another, another guy. Person. There's another, another person. guy across the road. Uh, it's uh, at the next building, yeah. He, he went into that step thing. You actually have so that's pretty much the end of the video here. I get taken out by someone behind me, unfortunately, and being gate kept at the same time. It is what it is, that's all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not a super high kill game, but I thought this one would be fun to break down. It was just good vibes. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash that like button. And if you are interested, make sure to sub to the YouTube channel for more Warzone content. Anyways, I hope you have a good day. Have fun out there and good luck on the Warzone.